little bit of disregard Handful of complaints but I can't help the fact that everyone can see these scars What I want you to want, what I want you to feel But it's like no matter what I do I can't convince you to just believe this is real So let go of watching you, turn your back like you always do Face away and pretend that I'm not, but I'll be here cause you're all that I got I can't the way I did before Don't turn your back on me Sometimes I don't make sense I, What you never want to say But I've never had a doubt It's like no matter what I do I can't convince you for once just to hear me out So I, let go watching you Turn your back like you always do Face away and pretend that I'm not But I'll be here cause you're all that I got I can't
shoes Getting loose, like the noose on my na 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 neck I'm bringing the next suburban curse If I make it, baby, you can buy my hearse We're getting close, man, toe to toe, man, here we go Here we go, you're not gonna see me broken failed to mention, but certainly right back in the saddle where they left off at the 2002 campaign, the Sterlington Panthers. Coach Del Ashley has those guys rocking and rolling, and not to put a jinx on those fan folks, but I know a lot of uh, Panther fans have already booked hotel rooms <laughs> in New Orleans. Not a bad... Sorry about that, Del, <laughs> but I tell you, this is a very good football team. Yeah, you don't want to jinx them this early off the bat, but I mean, I, how can you not think they'll be back there the way they played, not against just two-way competition, they knock off a Washita to get the year started. And, and no game has been close since. That's right. Speaking of the Panthers, here's a, a little bit closer look at the guys who are determined this time to win it all. The Sterlington Panthers put together a perfect regular season and an incredible playoff run last year. With just one loss to the Superdome, they went into the offseason with a bad feeling and added determination for this campaign. Just desperately wanting to want that one more win. Want to go 15-0 this year. I don't want to lose that last one again. Going undefeated is never easy, but the Panthers had the added burden of starting their season against Class 5A, Washita. They rose to that challenge and pulled out a 22-14 win over the Lions. Well, really, uh, honestly, we just had trouble scheduling. You know, a lot of the AA schools that uh, were now in our district were with some of our non-conference conference games before, so uh, we were scrambling to find games, and Washita had to be available, and we were available the first day, so we just put it together and played. Pretty excited. Pretty to it where Real, real, what we were really made of, see who we could compete with. And uh, we stepped it up, played hard, fought on the victory. Coach Dale Ashley's Panthers are led by his son, quarterback Jake Ashley. He's only a junior, but after years of exposure to the program, he's more polished than most signal callers. Jacob is, uh, is real easy to coach. Uh, you know, he's uh, pretty much uh, has run the offense since he's been small, and you know, he's been around it all his life. So, you know, uh, that part of it, you know, isn't the problem. Uh, you know, we just going to work, work each day uh, to get better and try to polish things and, you know, be able to uh, do a little better today than we did yesterday. Combine that offensive attack with a stingy defensive front, 
and the Panthers look like they have a good chance to make another run to New Orleans. to John Durmstetter. Look at that catch, a fingertip catch, 61-yard score. So, Coach Ashley, what do you think about that play? Well, I, you know, I 
know number 83's mom real well. She's a good friend. And she and I have been working with those two boys so they could, you know, really get this play down. Her name is Lynn Dormstetter. We are the two best coaches he has. <laughs> Coach Ashley also has some great running backs. Fernando Hurtado, 211 yards, two touchdowns. Mark Davis, 171 yards, three touchdowns. And this thing of beauty. Look at him weaving through traffic. Sterlington wins 38 to 13. Yeah, a lot of reason for your guys' success is the talent stars that you guys have on offense. Fernando, you guys seem unstoppable. You, Mark Davis, Jacob Ashley, the rest of the cast. Just how much confidence do you go into the game knowing that you guys are going to put up some huge numbers? Um, go in pretty confident. You know, the coaches have a good game plan going on and everything. And uh, you got to trust their offensive line. And, you know, me and Mark and Jake always trust our offensive line. And now, having said that, you know, it's not like you guys are winning shootouts. I mean, you are handily beating some competitions, and that's where I get to you, Chad. You guys maybe don't get all the credit because of the stars on offense, but you guys are taking care of business. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, defense, you know, that's... That's one of the, that's our goal for the whole game is just keep the ball in Fernando and Mark and Jacob's hand, keep it in with the offense. The more they stay out there, you know, the less we work we have to do and the more the score's gonna run up, you know. I look at one of the defining moments for your guys' defense and I think to that first half of the Washita game, they have the ball fourth and one, battle of the trenches between a two A and a five A, and you guys turn the lines away. Just talk about that. Oh, it was that was that was a great for us. It really like I mean it boosted the whole defense confidence, everything. And like like you said, you know, just going up there playing a five A school, you know, not having nobody think that we could do it and then coming off with a win, it's just I mean, you, words can't describe it, it's just awesome.
St. Fred thinking upset tonight against Sterlington. The football game is not just against a tough foe. Sterlington, we know they're a good football team. Nobody has to tell us about Sterlington. We read about them every day in the paper, all right? I'm going to tell you what I told you today. Everybody's talked to me all week about Sterlington. What they got? What are you going to do, coach? Let me tell you what I tell them. I don't worry about Sterlington.
week, Rabel will get a chance to show just how much their workouts have paid off when they face the big boys in 2A. They've had a great season, and uh, again, they're able to run and throw, and uh, they put a lot of pressure on your defense, and you know that's the way they've been able to win games, and you know our defense has a big challenge of trying to slow them down uh, Friday night. First time in District 3 2A, we're hoping to get our first district championship moving into 2A. Uh, of course, Rabel, big team, it's big game. They're undefeated in district as well as we are. The key to tonight's matchup will be to see if Rayville can stop Sterlington's high-powered rushing attack. Now show them they don't want none. They do not want none of the Sterlington Panthers. Let's win the district championship tonight, baby, right here.
the season to Rayville in Week 9. The Panthers responded by trouncing Class 4A opponent West Washita 33-7. Folks, there's a determined Sterlington team prowling in 2A, and St. Thomas Aquinas would find that out the hard way tonight. First play of the game, and the Panthers going to kick this thing off. Why would, you, why would we show you the opening kickoff? I can't figure that out. There's got to be some reason. Let's see. Guys returning it, and Whitey fumbles. Sterlington has the ball. Okay, I'm starting to get it now. And then Sterlington would take it down close to the goal line. It would be fourth and one, actually. Fourth and goal from the one.
The Panthers ended the regular season with an impressive win over 4A West Washita. And then Friday night, Sterlington steamrolled St. Thomas Aquinas 41-0. We all knew we, were gonna, we knew we were gonna win district. We knew we were gonna win state. Everybody knew it in their head. And uh, I think getting beat by Ray was just a mess and we need to actually, you know, buckle up and take on that goal. Cause I mean, it's a lot harder than we thought it was. And while the Panther offense gets most of the airtime, the defense has quietly been dominating all season, pitching three shutouts while giving up a mere 7.9 points per game. You know, they've done just a great job all year. You know, and, um, when the offense hasn't clicked, you know, the defense always has. So we've got a, a great defense, and they have played well all year. But yeah, a lot of it's just uh, team effort. I mean, a lot of our schemes, you know, we have to sacrifice ourselves so somebody else can make the play. And uh, just having people step up and ready to do that, I mean, it helps a lot. And if all goes well, the Panthers plan on being right back here on the practice field next week, preparing for a possible rematch with Rabel. Incidentally, if both the Hornets and Panthers win, that game will be played in Rabel next Friday night. Reporting from Sterlington, Brett Knudsen, TV8 Sports. No big speeches this week. Seniors, don't make this your last game, baby. Everybody's talking about the dome, the dome, no. We got to deal with this team right here first, all right? Worry about
for the uh, Sterlington Panthers, my friend, it is a uh, it is payback time. Absolutely, and I, I think that could be the case. I mean, Sterlington, since that loss, has again regained their form. I mean, 50-10 to 10 against a pretty good university team. Uh, you wouldn't yeah. know it after watching that game because Sterlington dominated. Not only are they playing great offense, but on the defensive side of the ball, I mean, they are really shutting teams down. James got some nice special uh, teams play the other night as that's, well. That's right. That is right. A block punt that they return for a touchdown, and uh, a couple of onside, well, at least one onside kick. Well, I tell you, I like that football game, oh, and that yeah. thing is at Ravel. Absolutely. Folks, you better get there early, I tell you, because standing room only, they may be five, six, seven layer deep. And not a whole lot of folks, including this guy over here with a camera, believe you can win. But it's time to prove the difference. Last time we was here, guys, we didn't get the job done. Tonight, we finished business. Yeah. We gave them a the district title, yeah. but they ain't taking our state, baby, all right? Let's get go. up in here, baby.
defense, the Panthers are in the dome for the second year. Marcus Moy with a pivotal play. He snags an interception to kill a Northeast drive and in the process, sparks a Sterlington victory. I always say in the huddle, especially being down, that someone has to step up and be a big play maker, you know, and each week we have a different person making plays and I just try to, you know, we each try to make a play every week and I just happen to make it this week. Mark is, uh, is just real quick, a real good instinct, you know, and uh, real good hands. And he's been in the right place at the right time and made some big plays for it. Hello football fans, the Sterlington Panthers and TV8 Sports have arrived at the Superdome. On the bus ride here, the Panthers were very loose. So loose, we decided to hand the mic over to the mouth of Sterlington. Hi hey, y'all, I'm Chad Lambert, you're filling in for Aaron Dietrichs on uh, TV8 today. I'm reporting, we're on our way to the New Orleans Superdome. I'm here with the rest of the Sterlington Panthers. All right, now we go. Now we're going to get talk a couple seniors, see how they feel about this game. This is Josh McMillan, one of our senior offensive linemen. This is his second year on the road to the Dome. Tell us how you feel, Josh. <laughs> so awesome. Great. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> a man of few words right there. A man of few words. Let's see who we got right here. We got ha Ryan the Hammer Hammock. Everyone knows about him, the speed burner on our team. Hammock, what do you think about this trip to New Orleans? What you ready for? I'm ready to win, man. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> That's right, baby. That's right. Uh, we're getting back towards the end of the bus where everyone knows these guys. This is Jacob Ashley, our quarterback. Jacob, how are your thoughts on the game? We're down there and going to bring on the victory. Right, guys? <laughs> this man right here, Coach Cole, he uh, doesn't get a whole lot of credit, but this guy right here puts together an offensive line year in and year out. as just one of the best in the states. These six guys up here that he has this year are ma probably one of the main reasons that you keep hearing so much about Fernando Hurtado and Mark Davis here. But you won't read about that in the paper too much. But anyway, Mark Davis, what are your thoughts on this game? Take the music off, boy. Listen to me. <laughs> uh, it feels great going back to the dome again. That's what I'm talking about. This man right here, if you haven't heard by him by now, you should have because he's been all over the place. 13 tackles just alone just last game. Buddy, what do you feel about this game against the Saint, uh, West St. John Rams? I think uh, the platoon is ready and we're going to win, dog. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. And, of course, back here we got Manchild, <laughs> Justin Fulmer, biggest guy on the team right here, double XL. Fulmer, what are your thoughts on this game about the Rams? We're going to win. We're going to win. That's right. There you have it. Everyone on this bus seems to think about Sterlington, but if you don't believe us, y'all come watch us Friday night, and we'll put up the W for you. Northeast Louisiana, don't bound, baby. Yeah, I'd say the Panthers are very confident. Tomorrow they'll have their practice here at the Superdome. Of course, we'll be there to catch it all. Reporting from New Orleans, Aaron Dietrich, TV8 Sports.
swear I'm bound in this black hole of duck for me. And silently with him, with hands touching skin, shot breaks my disease. And I can breathe. Keep running around 